Welcome back to Vanities by the Bonfire. My name is Dan. And so this is episode two. And what I wanted to do was go over some more of the necessities of uh, actually enjoying the art form of smoking a cigar. This one's going to be a little bit um, faster of an episode, a more condensed episode, just because um, I powered through a lot of stuff last time. And this time it's really going to come down to um, some more of the basics, yet they're almost self-evident. So obviously what you're going to need when you're smoking anything is a proper ashtray. So I have here a nice uh, crystal ashtray. Um, you can see how big it is. And uh, it's good because I can fit my cigar into the groove properly. You can get uh, ones that are made specifically for cigars. And uh, they're a beautiful ashtray. You can use pretty much anything for an ashtray. I know some people who use tin cans for their cigar ashtray. So um, that's something else you need. So let's go over it again. You're going to need a cutter. You're going to need a way to ignite your cigar. Um, and my popular favorite is the refillable butane jet lighter an ashtray and then when you buy your cigars when you go to your reputable cigar store and um, like YYC smoked cigars on Country Hills Boulevard in Calgary who is proudly supporting us here and trying to uh, educate you on the art of smoking a cigar and they will after you buy your cigar put it into a Ziploc bag so you can get it home and put it away into your humidor now, my humidor, as you can see, is kind of covered by my tree. And um, in essence, what it is, is a box that holds cigars. It's not airtight. You need to have some airflow in there so that it doesn't get moldy. And then the important part you're going to find is you need a hygrometer. Now, the hygrometer will tell you how much moisture is in the air. And uh, I'm sure everybody knows this, everybody's seen it. Um, my faithful assistant right now is trying to clear the way so you can see my humidor better. And so, I actually have two hygrometers in my, uh, my humidor just because I want to make sure that one of them isn't malfunctioning. I've got a digital one and I've got an analog style one. And uh, you can see the analog one. All right, and I'll show you the digital one again. All right. So now I'm showing you my hygrometers. You need to know that cigars, when they're made, uh, go through an extensive process of making sure that their humidity is set right. And that means, generally speaking, around 70% humidity at 20 degrees Celsius, or 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And the way I maintain that is I actually have a humidifying disc my humidifying disc looks like this and it's filled with gel that will absorb the water that I put in there. Now you can use um, propylene glycol, they'll tell you that at the uh, tobacconist, you can use that. I like to use distilled water and that way I know that uh, I'm not getting anything other than water in my uh, my humidifying disc. So once that's filled, you put it in there. It takes a couple days for it to raise the humidity into your humidor to proper level. But once it does, um, you should see, you'll probably have a month worth of uh, proper humidity in there before you have to refill it. And that depends upon how many cigars you have in there. Right now I've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 cigars in my uh, humidor and uh, they were actually just delivered to me and so 
what I'm doing is I'm letting them rehydrate a little bit because the transportation actually dried them out. So that's why you saw that there was 68% on my hygrometer. And so letting them still try to get up to 70%. 68% is okay though to smoke. Anything less than 65, I'd say it's getting dry and you're gonna find that it's not gonna burn as nice as what you should. So those are the key things that you're gonna want. Uh, find yourself a box, any box. If you can't afford to spend 100, 200, 600 thousand dollars on a humidor, um, go to your tobacconist and find a cigar box. And they have lots of them, they throw them out. And uh, quite often for a couple bucks, they'll give you one that's the right size. And uh, I got mine from my father-in-law, who is also a, uh, in, he's more of an aficionado of cigars and enjoying the art form of cigars. So, uh, thanks dad. And uh, like I said, you can get just a cigar box, stick the humidifying disc in there, and um, it'll allow the air to circulate a little bit still. It'll hold your cigars properly until you can afford or choose to afford a proper humidor. All right, so that's um, really what I wanted to get into with this particular apparatus, apparatuses, however you wish to pluralize apparatus. And um, now we'll get into my cigar of the week. Now this one is a quorum. This is a quorum Churchill, seven inches long. It's a ring size of 48. And uh, this one happens to be the, the natural leaf. And uh, the quorum comes in several different sizes, um, as small as a Robusto uh, up to a double Gordo in size, which is uh, almost twice as thick and almost the same length as the Churchill. So I like this, it's a good cigar. Uh, in my travels, I've found that uh, for the price, this one can't be beat. You can um, get them outside of Canada for usually four or five dollars a piece, sometimes less. In Canada, this particular cigar will go for about twelve dollars. And uh, just like the Reposado 96 we were discussing last week, this particular one, the band color tells you what the uh, the wrapper is so you can have the Maduro wrapper which comes with a burgundy uh, I forget the term um, yeah anyways this is burgundy and uh, right now this one is a black so the the ring the cigar ring that's the word I'm looking for uh, is will tell you whether you get a Maduro or not if you don't notice by the the color of the outer wrapper so I'm going to go through and let you know this is a product of Ecuador. It's got a beautiful, beautiful flavor to it. So like everything else, when I do this, I'm going to take the band off. And like I told you last week, save your band. This will remind you as to what uh, you've smoked before and whether you liked it or not. And you can... Uh, Put it up on a wall or put it in a cigar box and keep it as a memento and uh, i have my butterfly cutter and i'm going to stick my end in you can see that i'm actually very shallow i'm just above the shoulder and i'm going to cut now last week i was mentioning how dirty some of these are in cutting it was suggested by my lovely assistant that you cut over an ashtray. And uh, any of the crap, pardon my language, any of the product that comes off will fall into the ashtray normally. Of course, this being filmed and me doing that, it decided to jump out of the ashtray. So a nice even cut. It's uh, nice and shallow, gives me the mouthfeel that I prefer. Now that's something that happens on a regular basis with a cigar. 
This is the ring that was left over from the end piece. And this is common coming off. So if it came off like it did now, great. Um, it does unwrap the leaf a little bit, but uh, you lick your end and uh, the leaf will come back. And this happens on all cigars. It doesn't matter whether it's uh, a $60 Cuban or whether it's a $5 Reposado. So lighting again, you get a light, go around the end of your cigar there and lightly toast it. And that's gonna give you a nice even burn. Sometimes it doesn't get a nice burn, and that's okay. He didn't do anything wrong, it just sometimes it happens. Now I like this particular cigar because it's uh, it's got a nice flavor to it. You're going to find that it's, uh, uh, I'm going to use the word smoky, but it's, I mean, it's a cigar. It's supposed to be smoky, um, but it has a nice light flavor, this particular one, because it's the non-Maduro, it's the natural leaf, so it's got a lighter flavor to it. It's got a good mouth feel. Um, when you drag, you're going to find you're going to get a nice mouthful, and it, uh, it, it, it tastes, I'm going to say oaky. You know, just enjoy your cigar. This one will last me 45 minutes to an hour, depending upon how much I puff on it. Um, really good for watching the football games or watching any other sport. You can light this up and just enjoy a period or a quarter. And of course, you always want to pair it with something to drink, like a nice whiskey. So, cigar and a whiskey. And so, uh, this particular whiskey, um, this is a Crown Royal, actually. So, it's a Canadian-made rye. And uh, it's not my favorite. But uh, when you're looking for something to smoke and drink, why not just try pairing a few things together and see what uh, complements each other. So, cigar. I love this cigar. Mmm. You know, they go so well together. Give it a try. Find something that pairs with it this week. Enjoy your cigar. Enjoy your time where you can relax and just feel normal. All right? I hope you have a wonderful week. And we'll see you next week. This Vanities by the Bonfire. My name is Dan. And... Catch you later.